There's nothing new about fake news. Propaganda goes back as long as human communication. There's examples of propaganda in Egyptian pictographs and hieroglyphics. There's examples of propaganda from Rome. And now, whether you're a Fox News junkie or a CNN loyalist, you know that the news is bent towards one direction or the other. So how do you know who to trust? I mean, we're just coming out of this COVID crisis and there was so much misinformation out there. And whichever side you land on, you believed that the other side was completely wrong and that they were just lying through their teeth. Well, David in Psalms 12 is frustrated too. He talks about the wicked and how their lips are full of flattery and deception and lies. And you can almost sense his confusion, like he's looking around saying, who do I believe? Who do I trust? And then in verse 6, David finds his answer and he shares it with us. He says, The words of the Lord are flawless. They're like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times. And so David says, when you're confused and you don't know who to believe, turn to the Word of God because it is flawless. And as you bury yourself in the Word of God, and as you let His words refine you, you will start to see elements of His character in the people around you. Now, when it comes to COVID, there were two very different views. And one view said, hey, let's ask lots of questions. Let's give people the freedom to think for themselves and make their own decisions. And another one said, if you ask questions we don't want to hear, we're going to shut you down. We're going to lock off your social media accounts. We're going to fire you from your job. We're going to talk bad about you. We're going to name call. Now, whether you think one side is right or not, you can see that one character has the spirit of freedom and another side has the spirit of coercion and fear and intimidation. And so as we move forward, whatever's going to happen politically and in the world and with Ukraine and the war and in Washington, D.C., what we need to do is remember that God's words are flawless and they point us to his true character. And as we look around, facts can be manipulated, people can look charismatic, but sooner or later, the character of their movement will be revealed and we'll know who's telling the truth and who's telling the lies. And so today, I challenge you, I invite you to dive into your word, to dive into the word of God and to learn from him because his words are precious, like silver refined in the fire seven times. God bless.